I was just reflecting on how I've been out of the game and for a few years really and just standing there photographing those deer I realised I never really chased my photography dreams I used to watch David Attenborough programmes and I used to dream about doing that going all around the world with a camera I never did it I never really been in the game I've been playing so small and I haven't been following I actually feel slightly emotional right now <laughs> photographing them deer has just done something I don't know like just capturing that moment and you know like people capturing the whales in the sea and just dreaming you know but it was only ever a dream because it always felt so out of reach and then life happened now here I am with a tiny little taste of that and it's a tiny little taste but it's massive so you can you imagine having your own studio but like with people running it and then you can go off and do your adventures around the world with your camera and then come back and you'll have loads of studio stories to hear and then and you're you're part of it but you're not it's not all on you you know it's a team it's systems it's people it's community it's adventure it's travel it's everything i just realized how many years i could have done more wildlife photography adventures it's an absolute meditation there's a wildlife photography channel that I'm subscribed to on YouTube and I watched a hummingbird video on, on his and a few of the others and it was just so nice. I was sat inside, you know, in the office, a bit screened out and then I came across his channel and suddenly I'm watching a hummingbird. Hi, I'm back home and um, all the way home I was reflecting on everything. Like, So picking up that Z9, basically it... It's hit me like a ton of bricks, really, because I've just realised how far behind I've been left. That Z9 has somehow reminded me of everything I've ever wanted as a photographer. You know, I used to literally imagine my studio really really classy inside with different rooms and different lighting and you know you'd have a room that was just completely black right completely black black walls black ceiling and then you'd have your lighting and you can light the subject without any light bouncing back in you know and then you'd have a room that's just white for high key white black and white stunning just light everywhere and then, you know, you overcome the difficulties of both of those situations and and you and you you've got the challenges of the flare in the white room and and I don't know. I don't know what you'd have in the black room, because I've never had a black room, you know, just imagine it. And then you could have like a room where it's all set up like, I don't know, fairy tale ish or something, or not like not like tacky, but you'd have rooms you know, maybe I would do a mural on the wall or something, or you'd you just have rooms that are like, I don't know, like a room with just like loads of loads of plants in and like, you know, one side could just be all glass with plants and then photograph people in the plants. And I don't know, there's just, they had so many ideas and like, don't get me wrong, I love my garage where my lighting's going mouldy. So I do feel like we kind of owe it to ourselves to make these things happen. No one's going to make it happen for us. And like, I don't, I've always said I'd rather regret doing something than regret not doing something. And I don't know if I'm going to be okay with getting to the end of my life and looking back and thinking I never had the studio. I never had that studio with my name above the door, you know? And like your best work printed huge in the window, just stunning, stunning prints of your best studio work. Just 
feel like I've gone full circle and come back to photography and gone, whoa, this is what I was doing. <laughs> Where did this stop? What happened? Well, I wasn't expecting this from the Z9, I can tell you that. Self-discovery. What are your photography dreams? Are you going towards them or are you running the other way? What is stopping you? Is it money? Is it courage? What is it you really, really want to be doing right now with your photography? And are you doing it? Step one is knowing what you want, right? It's a gift just to know what we want, isn't it? Because then we can set an intention. Where is this going to lead? Oh, my Lord.